guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to reading to episode 9 of Is You Order a Rabbit Bloom. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. This is not right. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Aww. Really? <laughs> that would kill oh my god. Oh, you lost the crown? Oh, poor baby. That's so messed up. Oh. Excuse me, oh my god. Mm -mm -mm. You know when you wake up early and then you get something and you fall right back to sleep. And the next thing you know, you wake up, it's 12 o'clock and then you gotta go do something. Plus the fact that you also have to record like, or in or watch or do something else later on in the day. Four show no four shows but technically five episodes, and it's now four o'clock and you're just now starting. So I already know that I might have to have out of the four shows, three are gonna have to come out today. One's gonna have to come out tomorrow. We're pretty here, and then tomorrow's that dreadful day that I know I'm gonna be getting asked, but I know what I have to do. <laughs> No, it's either tomorrow or Monday. One of the two. <laughs> Hell, I, I mean, I went to bed while I was even editing. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna just wake up and get everything done. And it was like 9 going on 10. And I had to rush. Okay. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> well, yeah, of course it is. Hell, I wish I could wear something like that. Oh, look at the trench coat! What's in the guide? Well, it's a good thing that I'm officially now on a diet. This is now day one for me. I'm not really in hell, but... Huh?
It's cute, though. That's something I want to wear. The things that I want to wear. And, you know, gotta get skinny as fuck. Because, you know, mmm. <laughs> no, so, I mean, this is the second time. <laughs> Hey, it's a good idea. Yeah, but see, it's so funny because y'all don't even know y'all talking to Liz right there! <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, you know, I feel like out of the two... Who possibly would have recognized the first? It would have been Chino. Kokua would have been the dumb one and been like, oh my god, it's gonna take me a whole freaking episode to figure out that this lady is like <laughs> It's like episode one of Oran High School Host Club and how long it took Tomaki to figure out that Harihi was a girl. It's a whole damn episode. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, my am I going hi? She's always been there. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Oh, if you only knew. Drugs. <laughs> oh, of course, Chino.
Oh, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, but what about you, you know? <laughs> I mean, but it was obvious. Of course. <laughs> oh, poor baby. I thought you would have figured it out by now. <clears throat> no, it's okay. It's fine. It happens. <laughs> Excuse me. No. Thank you. Both my best girls in one episode. <clears throat> uh, no. You have me for a minute. Now the next time when Mocha actually come, I ain't gonna believe it.
Oh, Tio. What's up? You want to help? Hmm? Well, yeah, I mean... <laughs> Good luck, though. <gasps> there it is. Of course. I mean, that's why you were so upset today. <laughs> yeah. Your grandma was wearing it. I mean, out of all the things. <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> And the connection that it has. <laughs> oh my god, he's so cute.
my god. Trying not to cry. Oh my god, that was so freaking precious. Oh my god. Ah, uh, my heart right now. <laughs> oh my god. Chia. Chia and Shadow are just so cute together. Oh my god. Like, ah. Uh, I love the fact that you know the crown connects them together as a bond and a friendship. Sweet. Also, can we just talk about the fact that, you know, both Chino and Coco, but Coco at first, found out about Liz. I thought it would be Chino because Chino is so mature for her age and, you know, Coco is Coco. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, it might be like a little while before Coco finds out. But the fact that she figured it right as Liz pulled out her fake gun. I can't. Poor baby. Chino was like, oh my god, like, I'm so embarrassed. No, it's okay. You can't even TD. You didn't mean to. It happens. You're still best girl. <laughs> and then, not gonna lie, you had me in the first half with freaking Mocha coming, because, like, I'm like, oh my god. Mocha just gave me out of nowhere? Like, mmm. Coco, that's so mean. Of course. <laughs> I kind of figured. Oh, he's so fucking cute. Like, stop it. Oh my god, that was so cute. They're soulmates. Yes. Chino's dad just said it. They are soulmates. They're always destined to be together. But this was a really cute episode for them because, really, honestly, I cannot remember from season one or season two or the movie. Chino and Shadow, they've had good moments together, but... Not a moment. I can't really remember a moment if it was like a shippable moment between these two. Except this one. I mean, because these two always, like, if we're if we're going to be honest about this, like, there, there are cliques in our little group of girls, but it, it sometimes, like, changes. It depends on the day and such. But mainly, like, the main trio is Liz, Coco, and Chino. Then you have, um, Shadow... And Chia, and then um, sometimes you'll have Coco and Maya Megu, you know, especially when Maya Megu slowly but surely started to join. And now it's just, it varies and stuff. And then you have, you know, Aoyama Blue Mountain, best girl coming in on her high horse. Like, yes, I am the best girl on this show. Like, here I am. And she'll spend time with them. Like, I mean, because, you know, we didn't get that last week. So it was like, yeah, here you go for this week. So thank you once again. Because anytime when, you know, you see your favorite girl and then the favorite V and you hear the favorite VA, you know, it just makes your day so freaking better. This is the conversation that I had with one of my, um, one of my friends. When you are playing a gotcha game or literally any game and the best boy, best girl, best whatever comes home on a dang pool and you feel like your day or if your day was not the greatest when starting out, but then, you know, you, you, they come home when they come home because, you know, when they come home, it's the best freaking day ever. And then you feel like, you know, you feel happy and you feel proud and just you feel like you can do anything now that you got this car, <laughs> whatever it is. And so especially because 
there there are people who I know, like, I'll say my mom, my other extended family members who don't really know that other side of anime that I am into and how I celebrate anime characters' birthdays. So, you know, like, when I celebrate anime anime characters' birthday, I don't know, because, like, one, I'm, I might do it soon because one of my favorite characters' birthday is the day before Christmas. And it's a funny thing because the nightmare before Christmas and it's like that. And I typically will always write like a Twitter post and stuff like that. But honestly, I want to start being like so many other people who like end up making cake for them. And even though they eat it themselves and stuff. Or going to like Walmart or any other bakery or Publix or whatever. And asking them like, can you put this image on this cake? Because we're celebrating this boy or girl's birthday. That's what I want to start doing. Because it, it just seems so nice. And it's just... For everybody else, it seems just like a regular day, but for you, that's a day of that character's birth that you can celebrate, and you're possibly, especially with some of the idols and stuff that people um, produce in other games and stuff, that's the day that they can talk about what the what goodness that they brought for them same thing with like almost any other anime character whether you know you're struggling and having a hard time with anything you know that character or not only characters but family members are always there for you and you thank them for that and such I mean but yeah this is a cute episode I loved it a lot I just love the fact that I went like (laughs) on a different point of talking about that but yeah it's always the best day when it's like if it's an episode focusing on best boy best girl you're getting a gotcha card that focuses on your best boy best girl whoever it's just you know your day gets a little bit better but this was a cute adorable episode honestly it went by fast i I wasn't expecting it to do that but other than that guys it is my reaction view towards episode nine of season three of is the order a rabbit if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next saturday for episode 10 bye guys